It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no else. Jack Walters. Hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. Venga, con la calma. La basura, muy bien. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. resumen del caso y lo que ha podido averiguar hasta ahora
driver, how far did he stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Cape Sound Wanderer is looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. Into the line. Yo juego hasta aquí, avanza un pelín más, pero los tíos son muy raros, los lugareños. Algo raro tienen. Ya lo veremos ahora al hablar con ellos. Joder, qué rápido. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fellow. The first national is a large chain. You sure you haven't seen it? I'm sure. Stop bothering me with questions. <laughs> I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't rightly say as I know him. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? If you don't like it, just turn around and leave. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks as know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. You're in the wrong place. Asking the wrong questions, outsider. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't say as I noticed what you're saying. Oh, strange. Outsider is coming, snooping around when they ain't wanted. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Well, yeah, please, I reckon you might have scared him off with that ugly face of yours. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. If you don't like it, just turn around and leave. A dusty assortment of old books. Oh, what that? Won't open. Evening. Hi. The name's Hi. Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All we'll habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Talking to this fellow is getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room, and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy, so stop your pestering me with questions. Hello, Gilman. What do you want now? Strange thing about that Burnham lad. Burnham? Kent Riley says I know what you're talking about. That's odd. He was all over the Arkham Press. Must have been a bit of a local scandal. Them's matters for the police, stranger. Innsmouth's not a town for rumoring and talking. How's business? Can't you see I'm busy? 
Stop bothering me with your talking. Sorry. Hey, I'm plenty sure you are. Stop your snooping. And there's for hotel staff only. It won't budge. An old grandfather clock. It's locked. Nothing of interest. A dusty assortment of old books. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't open. Bueno, pues volvamos. Habrá que buscar el almacén ese. Solo tenemos esa pista. Ah, pero pues tenemos otros relatos aquí. de la puerta trasera del primer almacén nacional. Bueno. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. I never heard of no Burnham. Excuse me, constable. Jack Walters. Uh, ropes. Alien ropes. What you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass, then? No, you'll have to go another way. Yeah. Constable Ropes. What you after now? You ever meet Brian Burnham? I couldn't rightly say as eyes I remember. The burglarizing of the First National is big news in the Arkham Press. The Burnham lad must be one of your prime suspects. Any luck tracing his whereabouts? No. That'd be a matter for the Order. The Order? Isn't this a matter for the police? Yup. That too. Who is the Order? Them's that look after affairs there in Innsmouth. And you'd mind your business not to be asking too many questions. He's nothing more than a thug. And I don't feel like pushing my luck. I'd get more juice out of a stiff. Err... Um. If I see you talking to the outsider, you'll get thrown in jail. I've told him nothing. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? I can't be seen talking to you. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. Stop pestering me, stranger. Vale, vale. If I see you talking to the outsider, you'll get thrown in jail. I've told him nothing. Seems this grandiose structure is the esoteric order of Dagon. It's the only building in Innsmouth that doesn't look like it's about to collapse. It must serve some significant purpose. It won't budge. But Seems this grandiose structure is the esoteric order of Dagon. Hey, I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Never heard of no Burnham. 
Transnational Store. Bueno, sería aquí. No sé si la puerta trasera y esto además lleva tablas, así que está bien clavado. The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Ah, momento de sigilo. Vale, tenemos para pasar momento sigiloso. No se vuelve hacia la pantalla. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. Nothing of interest. Nope, nothing of interest. The door's bolted shut. Ah. Uh. It's unlocked. ¿Ahora qué? No se pueden empujar, habrán dejado arañazos en el suelo. No puedes mover el objeto si la puerta que pasa al lado está abierta. Vale, es atrancar puertas. Cerrar la puerta y empujar algo. Joder, pero apenas se ven las marcas. Va a igual. Cierra. Yeah. mal rollo esto de cerrar yeah. assorted paperwork but nothing of any real interest assorted paperwork uh -huh. nothing of interest here can't see anything of use the tills empty no real surprise vale tal como describía el caso pilló el dinero de la caja y nada más it looks like i need some sort of lifting handle to get it open it probably leads down to a storage cellar it won't budge A typewriter, invoices and receipts, nothing of interest. A typewriter, invoices and receipts, nothing of interest. Stock reminders and general notices, nothing of interest. Nope, nothing important here. 
There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Hostia, lo he pillado. Una botella de ron de contrabando. Un mango usado para levantar la... Ah, vale. Ya podemos ver la, tra la trampilla con esto. Oh, mierda. Oh, mierda, que está echando abajo. Bueno, cosa del juego. Muy bien, amable la gente de aquí. Assorted foodstuffs, nothing useful. The storage area is clutter-free and well-organized. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. Pues aquí sí que pinta que lo robó él. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Claro que se mueve, a ver. Supongo que tirar el muro. No, se acaba el camino. Ah, pues sí. Ah. The cellar's filled with human remains. These people must have died a long time ago. There must have been a fire down here. Ah, como has visto desde la ventana, vale. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here. And they're dated 1846. Ah, ya está. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Basura en la recámara. Hombre, sería muy auténtico si cargamos armas que todavía llevan balas dentro, porque entonces perderíamos balas. 
que se te quedan 5 balas, cargas el arma, perderías 5 balas por cargar el cargador antes de que se gaste. Nunca se ha hecho antes en un juego. Nothing of interest here. Bueno, perdón que el juego me ha petado. A veces estos juegos de antes con los sistemas de ahora. Nothing of any real interest. Eh, bueno, me ha salido una secuencia que no he grabado. Bueno, secuencia no. Nos, nos explica esta puerta que tiene el pestillo que nos puede servir cuando escapemos o... Pues que antes de abrir una puerta puede que esté cerrado y tengamos que abrir el pestillo. Nothing of interest here. Pero para frenar a los captores pues sí que funciona. Bueno, aquí es donde se me ha quedado pillado el juego. ¿Qué tenía que pasar esto? ¡Holy shit! ¡Puta mierda! Sabéis que primero me Nothing of interest. Tíos, ¿sí? Nothing of interest here. Parece que no hay nada. No hay nada. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. The poor woman must have taken her own life. Uh. Calma. I wonder what could have driven her to such a desperate act. Ah, from the stench in here, this the flooring is badly damaged. Must have been caused by the fire. Vamos por la puerta del pestillo. Vale. Can't see anything ah, vale, estamos en la parte de antes. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? <coughs> Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackey? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. A ver, ¿qué nos ha dado? Periódico. Bueno. Ya que está aquí el punto de guardado. Oh. Guardamos y aquí lo dejamos. Y seguimos en la próxima partida. Un saludo a todos. A cuidarse.